Let's look at some of the other dashboard enhancements. I'm going to go in here again, and let's create another new dashboard section. And you can see, just like the gauges, now there's a new element called Live Charts. And when I expand this open, you can see the different types of charts that are there. So again, what I can do is just drag this up into my dashboard. I'm going to grab a pie chart. Okay? Again, just like with the gauges, you're not seeing any actual data. You're just seeing a placeholder until you get out of design mode. When I click on this, again, the outliner down at the bottom will show up, and it will show you what kind of data this needs. So it's looking for a fact and something for the slices of the pie. So here I'm going to say, let's take unit sold as the fact, and let's take store type as my slice. If I want to, then I can also look at the properties of this. And you can see that I can have a pie or a donut. I can have it as 3D or 2D. I can have it show the values, show the legends, have it explode if I want to, and set all of that. And again, when I leave design mode, you'll see that I have these nice new live charts. Okay. Again, just like with the gauges, these can be controlled with that new slider control. So again, I'm going to bring my slider. I'm going to drag it out and do just like I did with my, with my gauges. I'm going to actually have this again on my region. I can pull my region to the dimension, go out to the slider, click on my properties, and I'm going to associate it this time with what's on my dashboard, which is that pie chart. I can choose pie chart. And now again, exit dimension, exit design mode. And now, again, without any coding, I have the ability to have dynamic charts that move dynamically as I start to change this slider around. This really allows you to have some more sizzle, uh, looks kind of nice for demos, very pretty for users to use, and it gives that sort of new high-end graphic feel.